रोशनी का कारवां दिस पॉडकास्ट इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाय स्कोर फाउंडेशन Hi my name is George Abraham and welcome to Iway Conversations my guests today are from Calcutta Rajat and Geetika Dalmia Hi Rajat hi Geetika welcome Hi George bhai and hi everybody Hi it's really nice to be here Geetika and Rajat you live in Calcutta you have been living in Kolkata all your lives So uh, Durga Puja is uh, what comes to mind first So how yes. do you guys as a blind couple how do you handle durga puja most people who live in calcutta would like to take time off and go for a vacation but we are just the opposite and we just stay in calcutta during the pujas because we find like this place really rocking and what we do normally is maybe definitely in the evenings we go pandal hopping ourselves with uh, with our friends or relatives or whoever and uh, like the certain pandals like they are even like last year there was one pandal which was made specifically for the blind with all tactiles in, uh, on the walls and braille so that you could get a feel of the how the statues are made so yeah one, this is one of it for pandal hopping second may spend time with friends as everybody is uh, everybody have the offices shut so we spend time with our friends enjoying and maybe of course going out friends for dinners and, and maybe fa- always you know- there family family time it's absolutely a relaxing peaceful time at home and you know it's like that so you guys have been married for a while now how many years 17 years in july 17 years in july okay so uh, the big question is uh, uh, what was your marriage a love marriage or an arranged marriage or just a marriage it was a love marriage which yeah. was arranged no, no all love marriages are arranged so it was a love marriage <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it was to be arranged it was a love marriage i suffer from macular degeneration right so i was the only one in my family who had it but theek hai i did my normal schooling college it was a bit difficult my schooling college i used a magnifying glass to do, read my books the textbook then later on i came to know about the screen magnifiers which i used for my studying material and then after my college um after my college i wanted to do a travel and tourism course actually i had no idea about the screen readers so someone told me in calcutta that you go and rajat is really good at um, using he uses jaws very well so you can just go and meet him once and take the screen reader from him so i just come and i met him i came home and i met him and that's how it started basically So it was a screen reading romance huh yes it was a screen screen reader romance <laughs> and then for one we keep kept on meeting each other for one and a half years all 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 all, all in the guise of teaching screen reading is it <laughs> <laughs> it was just how to use jaws basically right so and uh, it's so all just, about it's all about jaws <laughs> yes <laughs> so and after one and a half years so we got married If you know of anyone with vision impairment who needs guidance on living life with blindness please share the Iway National Toll Free Helpline number 18005320469 the number is 18005320469 Geetika's uh, eye condition is uh, was progressive right Uh, you yes. Were, you, yes. Uh, and and uh, Rajat, what's your what's the story behind your eyes? Ah, uh, till class twelve, my eyesight was absolutely normal. Yeah, I did my schooling from uh, uh, one of the most reputed schools of Calcutta, La Martine for Boys, where I played every sport. Suddenly, in when class twelve, when I was just about to give my board exams, just a few months before that, suddenly my eyesight started. Uh, my my eyes started playing tricks with me. i mean the, the how we start rp normally is 
nystagmus, as we say, when yeah. the eyeball starts shaking. So th- yeah. that started, and then it just go, then it it uh, deteriorated quite a bit till my exam in six six odd months. So it, with great difficulty, I gave my exam somehow class twelve both, and then I lost my reading vision immediately. So I had joined college, but unfortunately, it was very difficult for me to carry on with my uh, uh, education. So I had left education that time and, and I joined my family business. But later on, of course, I did my graduation from a correspondent with the from Pondicherry University, you know, correspondence course. I just wanted, no, I'll just finish my graduation. So I did that later on BBA. So yeah, this is, and this, uh, after my class 12, uh, uh, first I lost my, uh, uh, this uh, reading vision. Then slowly I started losing mobili- mobility and gradually, gradually I, by in another, another, 10, 15 years, I lost my complete vision and now I'm just left with a bit of light perception. Geetika, when you uh, started losing your eyesight and uh, especially at the age of 18, uh, what were your thoughts? Meaning, were you disappointed, angry with your situation or you just decided to cope with it and deal with it? Frankly, I came to know about this from a doctor in Bombay. And believe me, the doctor, he explained it to me so well that I was full of positive energy. And I've met a lot of doctors. At times, they demotivate you to go ahead in life. Yeah. And I think the doctor really played an important role in my life yeah. to tell me nicely and frankly that what it is. Yeah. So I think I was all ready for it then. And, you know, then I had that thing in mind, okay, no looking back, I'll do my best what I can. And Rajat, in your case, uh, the the change was rather dramatic because uh, till twelfth you were all it was all okay, and then suddenly things started going out of hand. And what was your yes. response? Well, God was kind since He gave me this issue uh, of this this problem, but along with that, He even gave me the strength. And actually, I had I mean there was uh, it was just like a, I just took it like a fish to water. You know, nothing happened, and I, in like and in regard that. I was never disappointed, never depressed. Like, uh, I was very lucky in this regard. It was, I just took it in my stride and just carried on, basically. It's just it was just maybe the power which was given to me by God. That's all I can say. When you got into doing business, uh, mm-hmm. first, of, first of all, what business was your family in? And uh, and what did you? how did you actually get initiated into it? So I went into my family business uh, just after my class 12. We went to a lighting industry. That time we were working for Philips India. And right. I went there, we were making manufacturers yeah. of lampshade covers. So yeah. I entered into that. It was a family business. So I just carried on with that. And uh, ever since I've been carrying on, it's been 25 years. I'm still into that business. Kitika, you uh, run a fairly successful uh, travel business. How did you start your business? And uh, what what is it that you offer in terms of services? So after my college, I actually always wanted to do something. And I was always very... Um, Like one of my hobbies is mainly traveling also. I I just love traveling. So I thought, you know, why not, you know, um, start with my own travel company. 2014, I passed out. 2015, I started my own travel company. Right. I did a travel and tourism course also. And in terms of the services which we offer, we book air tickets, both domestic, international, hotel bookings, both domestic, international, Services like renewing your passports, getting visas done for different countries, travel insurance, booking the sightseeing, uh, maybe car car rentals, uh, foreign exchange, travel insurance, travel insurance. Yeah, so we are like all travel related. Uh, this thing apart from the railway tickets in India, we don't do the railway tickets, but international, we do all the tickets, the train tickets as well. How do you actually develop your business? Meaning, how did the business start? How did you get your first client, for instance? First client was a a family or a friend. And then what happens is in our industry, it's basically uh, maybe the kind of service you provide. So maybe if a person is happy with your service, the way maybe you book the ticket or book a hotel, and if they are hassle-free, and, you know, when you check into the hotel, it's all done. I mean, it's all taken care of. It's it's all prepaid. And maybe, you know, you give your IDs, your check-in is very smooth. 
so automatically that client comes back to you you know because once you go for a business trip or a holiday you want your travel to be as comfortable as it can be yeah. because you don't want when you travel you don't want that this is not okay because then you know you you basically waste some time yeah. and when you go, go for a holiday obviously you waste time you waste your energy and you waste your money because every second is important when you're traveling because you're paying for every second actually so it's basically the services so i think by maybe um in terms of the services because it's absolutely a service industry so i think people come to you because of the service what we provide so uh, one obviously the rates have to be competitive definitely yeah. so obviously for the rates to be competitive we have to you know obviously we have different suppliers so we try and because you know what happens is uh, every every hotel has maybe a different supplier who gives you a better rate or maybe a you know maybe we have a tie up with some hotel which gives us a better rate so it's all about you know exploring every day actually maybe today someone is good to, tomorrow someone is good so it's every day a new new thing for us i mean it's uh, quite interesting actually you know uh, in the recent years uh, you know uh, a lot of work now gets done directly by the client online you know you have a lot of this online uh, platforms where you can do your travel planning and booking and so on how has that impacted your business uh in fact yes online bookings are definitely happening but but uh, there was a data what was that data uh, um only 7% of people till date are using online there was for a, traveling there was purpose. a data uh, online for online travel only 7% are using online rest is all through agents because booking through an agent basically maybe you book a ticket on make my trip for example yeah but what happens is maybe you are very uh, you are at ease in booking a ticket on online yeah but when you have to cancel the ticket and and wait for your refund to happen at yeah. times you never get the refund back yeah and at times you have to chase for that refund to come yeah and here with us it's like you cancel the ticket and you get your refund within 10 minutes so that's the biggest advantage of booking through travel agents and for our domestic travel we as agents we have a corporate fare also yeah. in which the cancellation normally the cancellation charges on these tickets apart from air india apart from air india and this uh, the normally the cancellation charges roughly about 3500 on yeah. every ticket but yeah. we have corporate fares for all airlines in which the cancellation charges <clears throat> just 1000 rupees even yeah. if you can till uh, to us prior your travel right so that's a big saving and even if you reschedule that tickets is just 250 rupees plus whatever be the difference in fare so that's a huge advantage what you don't get online corporate fares are mm, not online you have a flexi fare which is there online but you don't have a corporate fare which is online you were mentioning that uh, you guys uh, invariably go out at least once a year on a holiday yes uh, holiday is like uh, our passion and uh, once a year definitely minimum we go for a holiday and uh, like it's we... actually two holidays a year uh, actually one holiday we prefer no. going alone and one just normally, the two of us and one friends. is with friends mostly yeah and one holiday maybe can can be a religious darsh uh, religious darshan holiday yeah um so, so mostly what interests mo us is like we are uh, you know, like we, when we go to a beach like we sit, like we like to sit by the beach maybe that's what interests us do 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 water sports, do water sports like sports. jet ski and parasailing and the tube tube ride in fact oh, we went to oh, we went to mauritius and we di did the under sea under walk. sea walk so all these kind of sports interest us water sports what activities apart from these jungle safaris interest us we go for we go to forests where we just we like to so go for safaris like uh, first first tiger sighting or now since the cheetahs have come into india like we are wild wildlife lovers absolutely so that's our areas of interest that's what we do when we go out 
like yes uh, maybe go, go on a beach vacation beach the beach destination or a forest that's what interests us more um maybe a, even a hill station holiday is quite exciting but normally we prefer hill station or holiday when we are with friends not alone because actually hill station you don't have too much to do and explore exactly apart from just going to the maybe mall road and just so we prefer a hill station holiday when we are with friends so and we prefer some activity a holiday where there are some activities when we plan to travel alone basically you mentioned uh, that you are wildlife buffs people who can see get excited by seeing the tigers tell three right. crossing the road or something right. uh, what is your point of excitement obviously you, i can you obviously since we cannot see doesn't mean that we can't feel it okay. it's just it's just the imagination basically because uh, if we if we can't see then in this one would say why are we going to a forest if we can't see yeah. you know right yeah so but the but you just can't because if you just can't see you just can't sit back at home and say like we can't see when we won't go here we won't go there hmm. so that is uh, that uh, for us you know that is not the it's... answer to life basically we just feel like just this once we narrated that a tiger is crossing the road we just feel it and we just we just can you know that's what gives the feeling and the excitement yeah and i think you get you also feel the sense of uh, thrill which people around you are kind of Absolutely. Express, yes. expressing Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. That's what. Yes. 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 Hundred percent. It's just the feeling and, around. And because well, when you go for a jungle safari, is basically two hours of that hunting and then you sight. So that excitement is there. Even you know maybe your jeep driver he'll keep on explaining you that we are going here, this, there. We're not finding a tiger. We're not finding this, that, and you know it's just the excitement it builds up. And yeah. then you when you sight. A, a a tiger or maybe when you see or maybe a kill or something so it's really exciting i also believe when i was trying to set up this conversation uh, you know mm-hmm. uh, it was on a thursday and you said no friday saturday sunday <laughs> are, are, are times that you don't really uh, entertain conversation <laughs> we are both party animals and uh, we love going out on weekends we love when... going out and we love uh, outside food apart we're from big home foodies. food we are big foodies absolute big foodies so we go out with friends generally and uh, we just uh, yeah we go to maybe sometimes maybe to club there there's a lot of re- clubbing of, uh, culture in calcutta fortunately so clubs is going and very relaxing you can just hang around with your friends uh, maybe go is... for a swim and have dinner and come and then or... just yeah and then you can just go we go to uh, pubs and lounges also there are few clubs also in uh, calcutta where you have a karaoke karaoke night. Uh, night so you know maybe just for the fun sake just go the live orchestra is playing over there orchestra, i mean you can sing along sing, sing along and are there games and things also that you play while you're on these parties or playing yeah at times we play like playing we is, have braille and ball uh, yeah. cards so maybe when we are at home with family or friends so we play the uh the games which we used to play in childhood court piece begum chor a bit of poker um you know just at home with friends and family uh the playing card games what what we used to play during childhood so all that we play with friends so all that we, we play because... and i think uno uno again we play play a lot uno Mo- most of our friends are like excited so yeah. luckily uh, so when we play a game like it's quite, sounds a bit easier no even uno a card game we play a yeah, yeah uno there's a card game which again comes into a braille embossed format we called it from the us so that game also we play a lot i mean it's very interesting and um, earlier we used to play a lot of board games also actually battleship and ludo and snakes and ladder but now <laughs> i think we are over it To support our work with the blind and visually impaired you can visit the donate page on our website www.scorefoundation.org.in please note www.scorefoundation.org.in I also believe uh... you guys are into music I meaning you love music so tell us a uh, yes. bit about music is a part of our lives and uh, i have been into music since my childhood very much i am i played the guitar i've learned to playing the guitar i've i have learned playing the flute and i play the keyboard as well 
and of course I'm a bathroom singer to hui so yeah these are the bit of uh, these are things i do in about in music and, and i play the keyboard i play the keyboard and i'm not too much into singing i just bully him when he sings <laughs> flute is actually a lovely instrument to hear it's very difficult to play i guess but uh, uh, to listen lovely to, to it's a, yeah it's beautiful yeah. there's there's a romance to that uh, instrument Right. Uh, and uh, uh, are you guys also into movies and reading and all that or um, absolutely that's... we have movie freaks before the covid so we used to watch every good movie which used to release so we used, used to, to go, go to the, to the theater. theater and watch watch movies uh, fl- and uh, uh, some friend or relative whoever used to assist us would explain to us how whatever is going on in the screen mm. and uh, obviously the audio so we could make out from the audio what is going on So yes we were music, we are what after covid somehow it hasn't picked up as well the watching we movies go, well, actually, on the theater till now the after theater, covid but now maybe we are watching movies on the ott platforms more on, more on ott we are watching and as far as reading books is concerned yes we both of us are fond of reading books but uh, not that much that we because read it every day we, we don't get, get too much of time we don't get that much of time actually because maybe just on a sunday or maybe when like during puja holidays actually maybe you get then you get a lot of time where you can maybe read a lot and things because you know we have our own timings of work basically from morning 10 till 7 we are busy with work so and then you know uh it's like we even have to manage home because you know we we stay with my uh with rajat's parents and so taking care of home a lot of home responsibilities family social life fa- family obligations and so that's the reason then we get uh, a bit occupied and we hardly find time to read books and i'm big time i'm a, I'm a cricket freak, cricket freak i'm ah. big time into cricket so in fact i used to play cricket in my school days when i had the vision somehow i didn't get the opportunity to play blind blind cricket for some reason and but now also i love watching it i've been watching it since my school days i used to get up at Four o'clock in the morning when India used to tour New Zealand or Australia, uh, that was that is was my passion and still is for cricket. Right. Even if I, if I don't watch it, I, at least I follow all the scores. So even when he's at work also, and if there's a cricket match, he he'll keep on checking the score on his mobile phone mm-hmm. and this and that, and he's always like. ye hua abhi disturb nahi karo i am watching cricket and this and that <laughs> and you know he'll plan in, in in advance as maybe he told you friday saturday sunday we are busy so if there's a good cricket match which is you know scheduled, scheduled on scheduled on that day so he'll tell me in advance that day we're not going out anywhere mm. we'll be at home i have my match so right. it's it's like that he's crazy about cricket you haven't really thought of uh, adding to your family is that because of uh, possible genetic reasons or uh, you just felt that uh, no it's those... just an individual choice okay we thought we could be each other steady right and keep keep the romance going lifelong <laughs> 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 yes great so, that... so uh, it was wonderful chatting with the two of you and um, and uh, wish you both the best as you build your life together Both thank you so much thank you so much i we ye roshni ka karwa this podcast was brought to you by score foundation ye roshni 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 ka Shani ka karwa